Welcome to day one of the five-day automated lead generation challenge. I'm Jack Lawson with the Digital Real Estate Academy. And in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through setting up your automation system. I'm going to go ahead and start diving in. But what we are going to be doing is setting up a chat bot to automate the process of qualifying leads that come into your database. So the whole idea of the automated lead generation system is that we are driving traffic into a chat bot in this real estate chat bot that I'm gonna give you the free template download for. So it's not like you have to build a chat bot or anything. All you have to do is uh, download this chat bot and use it in the system minichat.com. And it's gonna be a simple plug and play system that's going to automate the process of qualifying leads for you. So again, we're using minichat.com. If you've never heard of minichat.com, they're a chatbot building software, and you're able to build the chatbots inside of the software, manage leads, build a database, all that stuff that goes inside of the, the chatbot that connects to your Facebook Messenger, also uh, connects to Instagram, WhatsApp, um, and it also has email and text and all these cool tools that you're able to use inside of uh, ManyChat. But we are going to be uh, strictly using the Facebook uh, Messenger aspect of this. And again, we are giving you a free template download. So basically what you want to do at this point is go ahead and click the link in the document for ManyChat. Um, if you don't have a mini chat account, go ahead and click that link, pause this video, sign up for a free um, account, go ahead and get that free trial, the pro account and come back here. And uh, once you have your account set up, we're going to be going to the next step, which is downloading the template um, and adding that template to your account. So go ahead and pause the video now, uh, sign up for an account, come back and push play when you got that in there. So. All right, so if you have your account now, uh, basically we're going to be going on to step three of the uh, document here. And inside of step three, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to walk you through downloading the template and adding it into your account. So go ahead and click that link for the uh, template. When you click it, it's going to open up this page right here. And you will see the template, um, the chatbot template there. Again, we're just plugging this into your mini chat account. Um, there's a few small tweaks that we're going to do to it to customize it for you, but the tap the chatbot has been built for you, and all you have to do is plug and play. So go ahead and hit that uh, save to mini chat account. It's going to open up this page that you're going to select your account with. You'll probably only see one or two accounts at the most, um, but go ahead and cl click on the page that is yours and save the template into your account. So all you have to do is hit that save flow button right there. So take a second to uh, add that flow to your account. And you're gonna hit view flow. And now this flow has been added to your ManyChat account. Um, basically all we're gonna be doing here, you'll see here, you can go ahead and go look through it right now. Basically this is the um, home buyer list flow. So what we're gonna be doing is setting up a uh, lead generation magnet that's going to direct people say, hey, come to us to get a free a uh, home buyer list. And when they want that home buyer list, they're going to be clicking into Messenger to talk to the chatbot, providing their information with um, inside of the chatbot. It's going to capture it automatically for you so you know exactly what they're looking for. And then you're going to be able to go and reach out to them and basically convert them into a client uh, after you get all their information. Um, some people do want the actual list. Some people just want to be spoken to and, and start looking at homes. So that's what you're going to be doing you're going to um, be able to reach out to them and know exactly uh, the size of the home they're looking for, um, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, the city they're looking in, if they're working with realtor, when they're looking to purchase, what price range they're looking in, if they've been pre-approved by a lender, uh, and then you're going to capture their email and phone number. Now, I know uh, if you've never been inside a mini chat and you're looking at this right now, look might look confusing, uh, but just remember that you don't have to deal about anything that's going in here. We're just going to be uh, uh, editing a few pieces of uh, information with your personal information, and then you don't have to touch this thing uh, again. So um, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be changing this box right here. I'm going to zoom in. Uh, all we're going to be entering is your phone number 
And if you have a link to schedule appointments like a Calendly link or a Acuity scheduling or some other online scheduling website, you're going to enter that link uh, right here. So we're going to click on this box, this contact agent number. All you're going to do is enter the phone number that you want these leads to receive. So type that in right there, hit done, and then click on the schedule appointment link. All you have to do is paste your, um, your scheduling link right there and hit done. And now when people receive this message, this is actually a follow-up message. If they, if they stop responding in the middle of the uh, chat bot, then they uh, they will receive this message. They can either restart the questions or they can contact you or schedule an appointment. So we we follow up that with them with any leads that might you know stop mid um, questions and and try to re-engage them with this specific um, message here. Now the next thing we're going to do is go uh, to the end. So this is the last message that they receive. Um, it basically just saying we have all the information. Please confirm your information is correct. These blue um, inputs right here are basically the is going to show them the data that they entered inside of these uh, um, chatbots inside of these questions. So if they entered, you know, 200 to 300,000 inside of this question, it's that answer is going to replace the uh, price range um, tag right here. So uh, basically that's the, the data that's being inputted into from the chatbot. So again, you don't have to worry about that. Just kind of explaining, uh, what that is. Um, it doesn't show them purchase time and, and all that stuff. It just, uh, it replaces that information. All right. So what you are going to be changing here is at the bottom, again, the scheduling link, you're going to paste that there, hit done. And then your phone number there and hit done. Um, and that's all you're going to do right there. Uh, basically, again, you're just entering your personal scheduling um, link and your phone number just so they have that uh, information. They, they can obviously, they will be speaking to this chatbot through Facebook Messenger, through your Facebook page. Um, but if they want to reach out to you on on a phone phone call or um, scheduling an appointment, that's how they can do it. But again, they can they can also just message you directly, and you can actually speak to them after they've completed this this chatbot flow. the uh, The last thing that we're going to check inside of this flow, uh, I'm actually going to hit publish real quick. Make sure you hit publish so that you have changed that um, that data. The next thing that we're going to check is this box right here, right before the last um, message. This is where we're going to um, make sure that you're going to be getting the notifications about the, the information that these um, buyers have entered. So the notify assignees right here, we're going to click right here. This message is what... Uh, is sent to you again. It's just like the data, the information that they input is going to be given to you. So you will receive that information. Um, so you should see your name right here. If you have anybody else connected to your account, you'll see them there. So you're going to want to um, click on this email box uh, right there so that you, it, it should be already be clicked, but double check it. And I'll show you where to check that email here in a second um, to make sure you're getting that notification email to the correct place. But uh, basically, there, there's two different ways that you can get notified about these leads as is. Um, one is by downloading the mini chat app in the App Store or the Google Play Store. Um, I'm going to recommend doing that. So go open up your the App Store or the Google Play or whatever and, and search mini chat and download the app, sign into your account, all that stuff. You'll be able to receive all these notifications and, and communicate with any leads through, through mini chat. Um, the other is, again, through email. Basically... Um, you'll get an email notification for that. So uh, I, I, I check that, make sure that I have that checked. Uh, I'm going to hit publish again, and I'll show you where to check for uh, the email that that notification is going to go to. So it is under settings and notifications. And my email for notifications right here is what you're going to change or keep or make sure that it's the correct email that you want those notifications to go to. So whatever email you want those notifications to go to, put it there, update it. You'll probably get like a confirmation email 
and then you can um, uh, have it set up like that. All right, I'm going to go back to the flow. Um, now, at this point, the, again, those few small tweaks are all you're going to be doing. Um, at, at this point, I'm going to preview it and make sure that it's working correctly. So all you have to do to preview it and test out the chatbot is hit this preview button right there. It's going to and then click send to messenger, you know, continue as your as you. And then I am going to open up messenger right here. And here we go inside of the demo. Um, this just popped up just a second ago. And now I'm going to answer these questions like I was testing out the uh, the ch the chatbot. So what size home are you looking for? 2000 3000 square feet. Minimum bedrooms, four bedrooms, um, three baths. What city are you looking for? Uh, let's do test city. Currently working with a realtor. No, I'm not. Uh, when are you looking to purchase home? One to three months. Price range you're looking for? Mm, four to five hundred thousand. Pre-approved by a lender for the amount? Yes. Okay, so it looks like I already entered an email in this in testing this out. So it says, can you confirm that this is your email? Otherwise, it would have said, hey, enter your email below, or it it pops up a pre-filled out information based off of your Facebook um, email. So if I didn't do that, it would have said, please type below or click the email, which would have been my other email, but I entered the test email. So I'm just going to say, yes, that's what I entered in, and it's correct. Same with the phone number. Yes, it is. And then this, this is what they receive. Again, you see how the information is um, replaced with what I just typed in. And if I went into my email, I would see that I got an email about this um, lead that just came in. So now I can schedule an appointment. I can call an agent now. Um, if I was on a mobile phone, I don't, yeah, it's going to like pop up and do a FaceTime or whatever because I have a Mac. Um, but on a mobile phone, it would immediately, immediately dial the phone number and scheduling appointment would open up, you know, the scheduling link or they can start over from there. Or again, they can just say, type you a message. Hey, I would like to talk to an agent, blah, blah, blah. It'll um, basically prompt you. You'll get notified and you'll be able to respond to them. But that's basically this, the how the chatbot is um, pre-qualifying these leads for you. You're knowing exactly when they're looking, how much they're looking for, um, where they're looking. So you can, again, start, you can create a home buyer list for them, or you can just reach out to them directly, get on the phone and, and schedule an appointment, do whatever, say, come in and I'll be happy to show you all the homes in your um, area. But that is pretty much it for the... Uh, um, for the for today, essentially, at this point, you have a working chatbot in your system inside of ManyChat, um, and you can use it to drive traffic to your chatbot, send them to Messenger, and they can get opted into this flow right now. However, we're going to go through a few more steps over the next couple of days, and I'll walk you through everything you need to know to set up the whole entire system to get it all up and running so that you can start generating leads and getting those leads qualified and followed up with in everything in this automated system so that you can grow your real estate business and your real estate database and everything that goes along with um, growing that there for you. So I'm excited for you to join me tomorrow as I cover content creation. Basically, we're going to be going over the videos that you're going to create to drive traffic to you. Um, but also we're going to show you, I'm going to show you a couple videos that you can add into your chat bot to make your chat bot more personal. So um, we're going to add a video at the beginning here that's going to introduce yourself so that they're going to be more willing to click through this sequence because they see you and they know that you're actually, there's an actual person behind this chat bot and it's not just, you know, a, a, an AI robot or whatever there, there is a real agent there behind the system and um, showing you what to say to get them to engage with you at the beginning and also to follow up with you and um, engage with you at the end of the sequence as well. So we'll be covering that tomorrow and I can't wait to see you guys there.